yes. And here we met again, in front of these wonders, the PNSO figurines from the Living Animal series, or more precisely, the Stars Packs. So as I mentioned before, that this was my first ever experience with this brand, and I am filled with immense anticipation to examine these figures firsthand, just as many of you are eager to witness them up close. Anyway, and without further ado, let's dive into the unboxing and get a closer look at these amazing figures. But before we start, make sure you have subscribed to my channel and clicked on the notification bell to stay updated with my upcoming videos. Okay, let's just unbox our first model, and maybe we go first for the Thompson's Gazelle. Well, first thing I would like to point out is that these figures are available both as sets, representing various animal categories, such as African wildlife, for example, as well as individually for each specific animal. And this provides collectors with the flexibility to choose between set collections or individual pieces based on their preferences. As for the size, I don't know whether the figures adhere to a specific scale that accurately represents different species or not. But anyway, let's proceed with a review of this first model and take a closer look at its details. As customary, the first notable thing is the unique name given to the animal, Vic, here along with its corresponding category here. And the packaging appears to be in good condition, featuring a gelatin-like covering for added protection. But it seems that the model lacks any special internal packaging for added protection. Okay, let's unwrap this beauty and see what it hides inside. Are we excited enough? Oops, the gazelle jumped away. Okay, it looks a bit different. We'll examine you later, but now let's see what we got here too. Okay, an information card here. And... These are the animal presenting in the complete set, I guess. Also here, we have something like a drawing activity for kids. And a very beautiful poster of Vic. This clever idea demonstrates an appreciation for the child's world too, adding an element of fascination to product. Now, let's explore the level of admiration that this model rightfully deserves. So, with a noteworthy observation and initial comment, it is so clear that this figure stands out with a unique and distinctive pose. Indeed, a closer look is required to fully grasp and appreciate the intricacies of this design. This figure captures a dynamic running position, specifically like an evasive posture maybe, to evade a predator. Notice the body's subtle lean to the left, the head maneuvering to the right, and the expressive bulging eyes reflecting the sense of imminent danger. But maybe one could interpret this pose as a depiction of a joyful gazelle, running with exuberance and delight. When it comes to details and anatomy, this model truly excels. Every minute detail that sets this magnificent animal apart has been meticulously crafted, from the head and horns to the limbs and legs. The attention to detail is remarkable and truly impressive. As for the paint job, I must wholeheartedly admit that I have never seen more exquisite and finer paint work like this. The level of detail and precision is unparalleled. The choice of distinct, light, and natural colors 
along with their expert application, truly sets this figure apart in terms of quality and craftsmanship. The model's intricate details speak for themselves, and I'm sure you have formed some opinions and thoughts about this figure as well, so you can share them with me in the comments below. In conclusion, based on my review, I rate this model a solid 9 out of 10, and I wholeheartedly recommend it as a remarkable addition to your collection, guaranteed to stand out among the other models on your shelf. And thank you all for watching, for your tremendous support. It's been a pleasure sharing this review with you. Stay tuned for more upcoming PNSO reviews. Until then, take care and bye.